Hey guys, Ellen Woodbridge here, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. And today I am here for another instalment of Let's Use Ellen's unused bits on her desk. So I have, I found a little basket. Now this basket has a couple of things in it. It has my leftovers from making cards. It, I've also gone through, I found this bag of coloured images when I was cleaning up a whole lot of stuff here. So I have some pre-coloured images that I've put in a little cello bag. It also has um, some beautiful cards that I need to reply and thank people for some cards. So this is sort of my to-do pile. So in this to-do pile, I had some leftovers from some cards I've made in the last month. So it's not, it's not terrible, but I do really want to get them off my desk. This Florentine Thinlets, I have all these interior bits from the Thinlets die. So all the interior bits I have on my desk to use. Now, the other thing that I found I had leftovers of was I had leftovers of some of these flowers. So I've put those all in a pile on my desk and I'm going to use them. Now, while I am here, I sort of decided to pair them with some, maybe just this simple happy birthday sentiment from Piece of Cake. I want to keep these pretty simple. Well, please, I was eating something before I came on. It's a bit stuck in my throat. Um, so I just... I really just want to use them just want to get them used want to get them off my desk because if they sit there for too long I lose motivation to use them um, so yeah now if anyone is popping in please say hi I saw someone pop in and go um, so please say hi and tell me where you're from um, and yeah, if you're a first timer here, welcome. I also always neglect to welcome all my new followers on my page. So if you are a new follower, thank you so much. I'm so glad. I hope you enjoy what I share here with you. I think I've got some bad connection today. Oh, no, it's because I'm on the wrong internet on my computer. I'll see if that improves it. So say hi, leave a comment. I hope you enjoyed the project that is going to come together. Hello, Miss Denise. Are you at hockey today? Very interesting. I have a friend that plays hockey. Now, if I have a bad connection, can you please tell me? Because my feed, my, my um, second screen here is not showing a great connection. I know, but so I'm I'm assuming you're somewhere in America. That's okay. Sorry, I'm just playing here, trying to get my feed back up and running. Sorry, looking over my phone here because I film everything on my phone. So just to catch you up, got lots of um, bits and bobs here sitting on my desk that, oh God, now they're flying everywhere, that I want to get used. Oh, that's much better. And the leftovers predominantly came from this card that I made on a video a while ago using the Florentine Thinlets. And this card, which is using, and I neglected to tell you, the needle and thread. So I'm going to flick you guys around, turn off my overhead light so we don't have any shadows. And I am going to get playing along and see what we can come up with. So just bear with me a second while I pop you on my stand. Now, it shouldn't be too bad today because I have it all pre-set up. 
<gasps> Look at that. Just like I bought one. It works. Hello, Karen. Hi, Deb. Thank you so much for joining. Okay. Radio. Think I'm ready to rock and roll. Note I say, I think. Something's happened with my floor mats here because I'm on a floating floorboard floor and I'm forever rolling around. So I've just got some of those plastic mats to protect my floor. So as you can see, I've got all my interior bits here and I made like a thousand and one um, of, cut, I cut out these actually, I will admit freely, I did not cut them out. My, I have a cutting machine which scanned all the images and cut them out for me. So what I think I'm going to do, so the, all these Florentine Thin Lots cutouts, which I'll show you the dye that these are cut from. Um, these are all in lovely lipstick, which I think is the same colour as what I've used on there. Um... I'm trying to work out what card base. I think I might be really simple. Hello, Miss Nicole. Thanks for joining again. Um, I think I'll just use a white card base. Then we can sort of go anywhere from there. So let me see if I have. Now, I don't know if I'm making one or two cards today. So I do have a card base cut, but just... A single card base so I'll get a piece of thick whisper white cardstock and my trimmer and I will score and get the cutting blade out of the way I will score and cut this and I may even be a bit tricky and change my orientation from portrait to landscape and see how we go so I just score it in half on the short ways and then I cut it in half long ways so I have two card bases ready to rock and roll hello miss Jamie oh you do and um, we need to organize a time to get together the holidays just flew by that we've just had so what I am what I have got and I used this in my la in one of my previous videos I have this template that is cut from the Florentine thinlets and I think I'm going to use this to inlay the pieces today on this card now I'm going to grab out Jamie's favorite glue here only because it's going to make it really quick and easy. Now, Jamie, to stop what happened last time, I have a brand new one ready if this one is still clogged. So then I don't get glue everywhere. And the other thing I'm going to grab out is my take your pick tool. So I can use the... This is like a blue tack sticky end. So it makes popping these in a bit simpler. Okay, so I think I have all my tools ready. And I'm going to get sticking. I know. You love it, Jamie. It makes my life easier. Oh, no, here we go. So I'm just going to pop. Now I'm going to have a bit of a randomish pattern here. I don't want to fill the whole thing which is why I've sort of got out two card bases so uh, and these are all going to be upside down aren't they so I'm just going to re inlay this into here now I do need to find a cut off bit as well two cut off bits I don't know how well this is going to work for me as opposed to using my hands but we'll see how we're going hello Philomena thanks for joining okay 
So I'm just, I was, I nearly swore. I'm sorry. So sorry. Not normally my style at all in real life. I laugh at myself. Jeez, I make myself laugh. I feel very uncoordinated today, my word. Right, this is coming off. I think we're just going freestyle. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But I can tell you one thing. This glue is going to dry before I get anything on here. <sighs> not your style. Oh, no, no, I'm feeling it, but the way I'm sticking it down, I'm thinking, I don't know. I don't know. I love this set. It is absolutely my style, but what I'm doing, I shouldn't have just put out so much glue. That's the problem on all those bits. Okay, that will... Okay, they are good. I'm flicking bits onto the ground. What I see, these aren't straight. This is the problem. I sort of need this sticking down. Okay, right. No, I nearly swore though. I did stop myself. Okay. Keep the lid off the glue and just work slow and smart. Because of course I'm on here and I want to make a card really quickly. And that is so not my style to make a card quickly. And right, 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 right. Slow and steady. Bye, honey. Have a great day. Say hello to your girl for me. Love to catch up soon for a crafty date. I do have a class tomorrow if you're free, Miss J. And for anyone else who's local to me in Australia, I have a um, stamper stack tomorrow. So we're going to make probably about seven cards, which will be fun. Okay, let's see if we can't manoeuvre this one just a touch. So, do you know what? I'm going to pick it up, pop it out, and then pop it back in. Because these other ones are sticking really nicely. Now I've... Thanks, Philomena. Hey, Margaret. Now I've got a couple of these pieces in. They It's anchoring the... what. I'm really using it for as a stencil but my hands aren't working well today so you'll just have to bear with me a touch I don't need these flowers yet I just want all these bits and of course I've got a touch of glue on my hand which is not helping matters okay I might scream at this by the time I'm going to get an amazing effect and it is a tad time consuming but the effect we're going to get and it's basically instead of stamping inside we're using the interior pieces to create um, the effect which is awesome because I'm going to end up with two or three cards from this one cut out piece which makes me happy okay rightio here's an edge piece so I hope everyone's having a lovely day. It's a nice, so far mild summer's day. Partially cloudy here in Australia. Already run out to take the dog 
to get washed and pampered this morning, which is lovely for her. She always has such a nice time. Okay. Now, I don't think I'm going to worry about these really, really little pieces, to tell you the truth, because they are really a touch painful. And I think I'd be very happy to just say goodbye to those pieces. Okay. And now, now I've got my base, I think I might just want to not do it fully, but just like round it up. So then I've got a place to pop my flowers, if that makes sense. Yeah, it is a great set, Jennifer. I love that you can make it quite informal or very formal. It's one of those chameleon sets Depending on how you um, dress it up, you can do lots of different things with it. But I'm glad once you get a few of these pieces stuck in, it does, um, it does set down really nicely and the stencil um, doesn't move around. And the other thing, you can just create a border with this, which would look really nice. And I may end up making a third card or even a fourth just to get my bits and bobs used. So there's one in, there's two in. And I do, I'm loving the take the pick tool as well. It, um... It's really good for me just manoeuvring these. Even if they're not in the right place, I'm getting them close so I can just slide it in. Because So that one's not quiet, but I, from there I can just I need to be putting this back in my glue holder. I can just slide it in. Get one of these that's the right way round. Oh, no, no, no. Abort, abort, abort. Put one up here. Slide this out. Turn it round. And pop it in there, right? I wasn't going to put that piece in, but we are now. Just need a full couple of full pieces. And I do think I'll find these pieces possibly as well. I will see, I'll take the stencil off, see how I like it. And if I want to bring it a bit lower, I, um, I can. And I could use this end, but because I've got nails, I am more than comfortable just using my nails to pop this in. Now this is sort of too harsh of a line down here so I might pop a big one in here. Just I would prefer it a bit more organic but I got carried away chitter chattering what's new there. Now, I could cover the whole background, but that's sort of not the plan. Now you may need to push some of these down as you pull up the stencil because it is rather a snug fit. But you know they are placed in the correct spot. I think I may put some glue on the stencil, which isn't necessarily a bad thing either. Okay. Right. Ta-da! 
do I want those bottom pieces down? I think I do. Spin that round. I think I do need those bottom pieces there just to anchor it at the bottom. Good morning, Maria. Thank you for joining. Just uh, using scraps from a previous card that I did earlier this month and um, getting them off my desk. Not that they were sitting in an envelope on my desk, but I just want to get them used. Okay, that is one. Come on, this is two. Possibly should have had them all ready to rock and roll, but this is three. Stay in your place. And one more. Here we go. And the other thing is you could just put in the, um, the more rounded larger pieces you could uh, that just fell on the floor pick up another piece you could just put in the more cross um, shaped pieces there's lots you could do to create an alternative background okay right now this one does need Actually, that one can stay where it is. Now, carefully pop out the stencil. Right, much happier with that. I'm going to pick up a few pieces that I dropped in that process. Look, I'm even almost matching my nails today. Didn't mean that. Okay. Oh, no. Why didn't I think of that before I blew that they were going to go everywhere? All I wanted to do was get the bits off, the little paper fibres. Oh dear. Yes, it would, but I don't have the patience for that, Jennifer. Not today anyway. Okay, so that is background one done. It is totally crooked, but it's handmade. And you, I've really created a faux... Um, a faux embossed background and I like that I've used the white background so that's background one done I think I am going to grab down that other card base and even if I just make the card bases it won't take me long to put them together so grab this stencil I call it a stencil again. Okay. I want to make sure I've got some of these edge pieces. I should have another because there were four at the top, four at the bottom. I just like them. Oh, I've got a lot more than what I thought. Okay, right. So... You could stamp them piece, just the really small bits too. Yeah, exactly. And I could make just a border to frame something in the middle. Like these little bits are just painful in my eyes. But yeah, there really is just so much that you can do. Now, where did I put my tool? And of course, these pieces are not the right way around. They're upside down. Okay. All is good. All is good. This will work. It worked on the last card. It will work on this card. Flick these two girls 
over. Yeah, you can do, I, as I, you can do a column, you can do a border, you can do it a bit more free-flowing like I did, like a bit more organic on a corner like I made that one. But I love the dimension that you get by putting these pieces on a flat card. Because you're adding dimension, but they are sitting flat on the card, which is in itself really cool. So give those a nice push down. Grab some of my crosses. Actually, how, long, how many more corner bits can I find? I've got another four. So should I do this? Not sure if I want to do a full background. Mm. Food for thought. Okay. And I need one more. Oh no, I only needed three. So hit me with your ideas what you would do. Because I've got one more card base. So I can see what I think about the next card base. And three, right. One, two, three. Oh no, that wasn't stuck down. And now I have it stuck on my finger. Right. What I want to do is pick it up. So have you girls had a chance to craft, make a card, knit, do anything like that this week? Because I know it's Friday night for you girls in America. Or Friday evening. An edge, an edge. I want all my middle bits. Middle, middle. That's an edge. I'm trying to bundle them together. So, oh, all these edges. I just want middles. Yeah, okay. I might do that now that I've found heaps of edges. I can um, definitely do that and see what we come up with. I don't know what I'd put in the middle. Maybe I just find a, huge, a big sentiment and I just do that. But as I said, I just refuse to use these teeny tiny pieces. They will slowly drive me bonkers. I don't know what I'm doing with this one either. Just, just playing... Oh, nice. I've, um, my son has some beautiful watercolour sets that um, he's also, I bought one a long time ago and I've um, handed it off to him and I like to see what he uses. Um, please excuse my froggy throat. I like seeing what he comes up with. Hello, Miss Mel. Just uh, playing with some scraps here. Seeing how I go, making some backgrounds. I just don't know if I'll have enough edges to do a whole border now that I've used this up doing these ones and 
I think if I just... Are you having a nice Saturday morning, Miss Smell? Okay, I think I only want to put in two more here. thinking I might even put one way out here just to extend it a little Tiny time difference? Are you? Ah, right. Yes, it's early. You're not at home. <laughs> I can only imagine. I hope it all went well. Mel's visiting some family at the moment. Okay, now I'm going to pick this up and then blow off the fairy bits so then these don't go everywhere. <sighs> okay, quite happy with that one too. I like the little, mm, I'm thinking, thinking I might put two out here in the abyss together because that'll be... Oh, you're at home. Oh, okay, you're home now. But yeah, an hour time difference is enough to stuff you up. Imagine what we're going to be like coming back from New Zealand and going to New Zealand. Okay, now this one has a friend up there. Really happy with that. So these are my two card bases so far. And with this next one, I'm going to try doing a border like you girls suggested. Although a border may be easier said than done because on our card stock, this is a card front. It doesn't quite cover it, but I can always add a, um, I can always add a piece of ribbon at the top to fill it in. Now, just bear with me a second, sorry, my throat is quite dry, so I need to have a mouthful of water, take out my flavour thing in the bin. Ah, yes, 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 yes. So this is the, it's the original template. So it's a template, hold on, oh. Bring over the card and I can talk to you. So when I originally made this card, I created this template. So then I could line up those stamps in the Stamparatus. So I've just chucked the template in with my stamp set and I oh, dropped a few drops of water. So the template works really well for this inlay kind of technique. Um, yeah, so that's what I decided to do. Now let's see how many border pieces we have here. Because ideally, one, two, I need eight. But we don't have to. We can miss a corner and, um, yeah, have a different kind of border well I think we might go close okay just separating all of these while I can while I come across them because I need all my borders might end up with four card bases here. That's rather impressive. 
another edge. Oh, do you think I should, just should be using this to pick them up, shouldn't I? Another edge. That's a middle. That's an edge. That can go there. That's a full. That's an edge. That's edge. That's an edge. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I can use three at the top and three at the bottom. And they're my full ones. So, okay. So these are all there. Okay, right. We can do this. And these teeny tiny little ones I'm not touching with the barge pole. Because no one needs to hear me swear. And then my channel will be censored. And yeah, no one. I know you'd miss me. So there's no use. Okay, this one is... Oh no, it just had that bit under it. I thought it needed a bit of trimming. And it didn't die cut properly. So I think I'll go one, two, three there. And then one, two, three up there. And leave these two diagonal bits bare. So then we've got some symmetry. At least I've got an idea where I'm going with this one. So I'll get these in first. And then these will anchor in the stencil now even though this um now i'm gonna butcher the name and i've just put my finger in glue because that's how i roll um the take your pick tool is actually still available so even though it's not currently in a catalog as such it has carried over from the holiday catalog which is fantastic because we do have um, a paper piercer and a stylus piece and this is a really good all-in-one tool um, I have previously had a sticky tool like this but it's fantastic that this one in particular is more than just a sticky piece on my thumb is um, actually more than just that I've got my spatula on the other end which I can use um, to pick things, uh, to lever things, which I like having that there as an option. So this won't be a full border, but we'll get almost all of the way there. And then I may just have to cut another piece of cardstock because it'd be great to get majority of this used which is great because i'm loving getting this done okay so border i'm only going to put glue on a couple at a time otherwise i am going to stick to everything Okay, that's one. Here's two. That one fell in perfectly. Three, four. I'm going to have plenty of these side pieces, which is great. Uh, right, so there's one side done, and let's do this side. Gonna be adventurous. I'll work bottom to top, so I shouldn't get my hand in it. 
I say shouldn't and I probably will. So we're really just making a puzzle but I just wanted to show you how you can use all these bits to Oh, I'm going to have one edge piece left over. But I don't mind throwing some out. It was just such a waste to throw so many out. Do you know what would look really nice in the middle of this? If I had it, oh God, if I had it as a landscape card, if I had like a a uh, metallic embossed sentiment that would look really really nice I don't know if I'll do all these cards on this video they may be a part one and a part two because at some stage I do need to pick up our dog from the groomer I know my husband will knock on the door and say, please, can we go pick up Miss Louisa so I won't have any doggy intruders in here today because she isn't here. I don't mind that as a border. So that's our border piece. Now, if I do have any extra glue or bits or bobs I can go along with my adhesive remover later and remove those let me get down one more piece of paper and then okay trim it down again try not to disturb the piles of things we have here Okay, score and cut. Never know, may end up with five. Yeah, that border one is actually really simple and if I wanted um if I wanted some more definition I could doodle a border around the edge because it is a bit bare and barren or I could doodle around these I might even like doodle a border make it a bit informal because this one's really formal and I'm not sure I like that and I can add um, some ribbon just to the edge here and that'll soften it as well okay righty-o I'll pop this one up on my computer. Hi, Chris. Hi, Adele. Thanks for joining. I'm almost finished making my card bases here. And the good thing is, this is now slightly sticky. So when I put it down, it's staying where I want it to. Now this one, I think I'm going to make a landscape card. So I'll have the card sitting in landscape. So then I can get these in the right place. So my one border piece, I'm going to pop down right in this corner. Use my take your pick tool. Inlay that in. Good to hear, Chris. Okay. And none of these are the right way up. Oh, there are a few. I knew if I didn't have something there, I was going to put my finger in it. Right. Two. Okay. 
Got to get my tongue in the right place so it goes in the right spot, girls. So, yes, you may laugh even though you can't see my face. Okay, now this has become not so sticky. So I'm just going to pull off. I'll show you how you get some more. You just turn this just up slightly. I'm just going to pull off the old blue tack type stuff. Pop that in the bin, push this up a tad, then roll it back and I have the perfect amount. You roll it back to take the pressure off so then it doesn't uh, pour out as you want to use things. Um, this is going to be interesting because I only have interior pieces and I've used one little piece. Hmm, let's just go with it. Yes, up upcycling at its finest. I was telling the girls earlier, I found a piece of uh, pre-coloured um, bits and bobs. So I've got some, um, these are all things I've taken out and about. Um, and I also found, so I may use this piece on this card, I might punch it out. I found um, a scrap piece of this, so I may use it on these cards. Now that I've got a lot... Oh no, I don't need glue there. Poo. Oh well. These things happen what adhesive remover was invented for. It's okay, what I may do, I may um, actually really stick something there, but not through the stencil. So yeah, these are leftovers from this card and they're actually really, I threw out those leftovers, but they're the leftovers from this card. And I will end up having made four card bases. So I only have two of these big ones left. So I will dot in these two. Pop these in and then I'll dot around the rest of the crosses and we'll see how it turns out. If not, it's a card that I can send to someone in the mail. So I'm not too concerned. One, two, three. And really this is me using all of these bits. Which makes me a happy girl. Because that is one more empty envelope sitting over there. And they'll be ready for me to fill up from other projects. But for now, they are empty. Jeez, I've got some loud cars. So I have two more left um, I might pop one there and one here on this glue hey Deb how are you are you a Deb or a Deborah because I always call you Deb and I want to make sure I'm not doing the wrong thing it's such an Australian thing yes Yes, keep your bits because you can always make other cards. I'm not saying that these cards are quick to make, but they're certainly satisfying for the fact that I can use all these pieces. See, I put that piece of glue there for a reason. Now, I'm very, very happily going to put all these teeny edge pieces in the bin. So I've used all of these pieces. Right. 
just very carefully because I've only used one dollop of glue so I'm just very very carefully popping this stencil out Whoop. that piece just moved ever so slightly right actually that looks even good in portrait or landscape <sighs> I don't know we'll see when I make it so I still have my flowers to use but these are the four card bases that I have just slapped together with all the little bits and bobs but while you girls are having a look at these I have these flowers which didn't cut out so well I know I have a pair of scissors oh no 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 I found extra bits just two and I also have a butterfly over here as well that's okay I can add do you know what I think I'll ponder portrait right thank you for that I prefer Deb thanks Ellen but oh okay cool no problem yes yeah, so effective I I'm actually really glad that I chose this color background um, so I'm thinking this cross bit actually that cross bits a bit dirty I may just have to say goodbye to it I'll see if I can work this edge bit but do you know what I'm happy I'm happily going to say goodbye to those two pieces right um so I have my butterfly and my flowers I just need to find my scissors which is what I was looking for when I got distracted by finding those two bits sorry needed another swig of water now I've did I misplace no I can't ah uh, yes this piece needed a tad of trimming maybe maybe not now I think they're usable as they are right although this one could do with some rounding I just give these a bit of a trim no I like the rounded I could have Jennifer you are exactly correct but because they're die cut there's a rounded edge and a more sharp edge and I really like that uh, rounded edge so it would have annoyed me and for how many pieces I've used I'm really really happy so oh, why do I keep on doing that all the little die cut fuzzies so on this one I think I am going to now I'm sticking and plonking girls and yes I am covering up um okay grab my mini dimensionals because these are perfect i just have my scissors and i put them away i this is the first sheet of mini dimensionals i've used can i tell you how excited i am that i have almost used this pack of mini dimensionals because there's like a thousand on them hello miss helen thank you for joining helen i've made all these gorgeous backgrounds and i am literally just finishing finishing them off with other bits and bobs that i have 
might use another one on just because this didn't die cut out very well so I'm just covering up some of this white space and then I will add a sentiment from the piece of cake set I will get to the piece of cake stamp set the reason I want to use it the piece of cake stamp set is because it goes so well with the classic label punch and it just makes it easy to stamp and punch some sentiments okay now I like the Hmm. Or do I just add one of these little tiny ones? Helen, am I seeing you next weekend? Are you coming along to our team meeting? Yes. The orchid stamp would pair very well. But I'm also mindful I've only got like 10 minutes. I probably won't get all of these done. And then I might pop our sentiment across there. This took Those backgrounds took longer than expected. I think, I think I'm just going to use the happy birthday set. Now, colours. I am missing one colour at the moment. And it is Blushing Bride, which I'm pretty sure this is. But what I can do, I can stamp... Oh, I found that other cutout that I needed to clean up. But I can most certainly use uh, Lovely Lipstick Ink on Blushing Bride paper. Oh, oh. Okay, I've designed my swabs. Actually, I've designed them. I've just got to make some more. So I'll grab some Blushing Bride paper. Powder pink, petal pink Blushing Bride. There we go. Um, and I will use our lovely lipstick ink. I don't know what we're making, but I do have lots of choices of cards that we can make from let me maybe that's not blushing bright but it's I'm gonna use it it works I don't know what color I've used if it's not blushing bright uh, lovely lipstick ink is out because I'm using it tomorrow in my class I'm just selling, upselling for you. Yes, that's exactly right. I've been using my first shade, using them like forever. Yeah, there are so many. And I do have the orchid stamp set. I will grab it out. It is somewhere along here with all my stamp sets. So, and I have to think of a big one to go in the middle of this. So that is the orchid stamp set. So you can see the shapes are very reminiscent. And as Jennifer said, it would work perfectly. Okay, that happy birthday came out beautifully. Because this ink will get everywhere, I will pop it away. So I didn't have to stamp it straight, but... I tried my best anyway. I'm actually, I can't. Just need the teeniest bit to hold on to. So see what I mean about these fitting so perfectly? It's all about the lining up. Yeah, I know, all the pink tones, but I think, and this edge on the classic label punch pat matches these perfectly. So you can see if I just pull, pop a couple of dimensionals on here, 
this will finish off this one card perfectly. And then I can get along this afternoon and prep for my stamper stack tomorrow. Okay. I will take these dimensionals off, then I'll pop a dot of glue on the end. Just pop a touch. Oh, yes, Adele, it goes with so many stamp sets. I love it. And when they were showing um, this piece of cake stamp set at on stage, it was mentioned that many of the sentiments go perfectly with that set. So I made sure I wrote it down and I wrote classic label on my thing. Yay, one card done. And this is also using, these are also scraps. Okay. I'm going to score this. Pop a sticker on it and it's all done. Oh dear. Right. This isn't going to work. It is, but... This, right, I don't know how I got ink on the inside of this card. I really, truly don't. Okay, that is card number one done. To put with my birthday card stash. I do need to find some, no, because it's a birthday card set. Okay, sticker on the back, but look, I got ink. And I don't even have any ink on my hands. Yeah, well, one card done. Now, I have this little one here. Now, what I'm going to do before I even put dimensional things on the front of this, I'm going to score it because it's going to make my life a whole lot easier. Right, that's better. Okay, trim this baby up and see how we go. Now, I don't mind using the same sentiment on all of these. Would have never have known these weren't carefully planned cards and just plain with scraps. Exactly. You girls know because I tell you and I give you all the tri tips and tricks, but... A lot of people would just have thrown those pieces in the bin as I did for my original card. Um, and when I made this other card, because I made two, I think I made, no, I made this one with, so I threw all those ones out and I kept all these pieces. So, yeah. Um... Now I also have, I'm going to see how many circles I can get out of this. So I think I might get, uh, my one and a half inch circle punch. This is still stuck to my finger here. See if I can't get a couple of circles out of this. Check that out. That's pretty good. I could get some smaller ones, but as I say, I'm very happy to say goodbye to my scraps. So I can use those as an anchoring point. Possibly use that there. I don't know if I will use it on this card. It may just go back into my little basket. So I have this little um this would be petal pink flower 
that I'm going to nest in here and I'm going to get two other oh, this one needs a trim up as well some of these just didn't cut the best you can notice it when you're putting it on a well cut die cut background you can notice the fuzzies yes that's exactly right and the thing is it's still a handmade card okay what have I missed the ink mystery is constant that is exactly right see secret stamper business scooby-doo where are you <laughs> oh you girls make me laugh I should just I'm going to see if I missed any other comments yes okay have it I don't think I've missed any comments oh look stuck on my finger again so that has enough sticky to it's it's got too much stick okay i'm gonna stick that one there i think i am going to do another happy birthday so I have two more of these and one butterfly left and this circle these two circles so we're doing well using up the scraps I'll ink this up here perfect put that on my laptop out of my way Oh, circle punch is not going to cut it. However nice some greenery would be with these, it's just not going to work. Okay, this one I might just put flat. I might grab my snail adhesive. I went a bit over and this is a new card it's a new base I put it out fresh for this video so I'm going to put the happy birthday down and then maybe nestle and I'm just going to nestle this piece in and see where I want to put because everything looks better in threes so I might just put this full flower right here. So pop a dot of glue there. Oh, dear word. Come on. Right. And... And pop this baby there okay really happy with this one as well right so two cards done that and that and now I have a flower and a butterfly so I'm not sure these this was sort of my original plan for the cards this kind of thing but then we got our two other card bases so i'll see how i can make this work because now i have paper scraps everywhere i don't know if i'm going to get this one little flower to work I can get the butterfly to work but I'm not sure I can get the flower can these go together with the happy birthday 
I'll stamp the happy birthday and you girls tell me what you think. I don't, I think I need a third element, but I'm not totally sure. Sorry, I'm totally off screen doing this. Okay. <gasps> Do you know what I think this one might need? Is a, So I've used one and a half. I'm going to get some vellum because I feel it needs a bit more. So I'm going to put a vellum circle under and I might have a vellum circle already punched out in here. Look at that! Perfect scrap, although it may be a bit big, but that's okay. So vellum circle, this circle. Hmm. Now I think think I can't remember what color this is may get a scrap of yeah 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 I could I'm not gonna have leftovers from my stampers stack tomorrow I can guarantee it God knows what I've done with this piece. So my one and three cir quarter circle punch, because I've obviously dropped this card base in an ink pad, obviously, as one does. Okay, right. Oh. I do love my punches, girls. I really, really do. They just come in handy. Okay. And then a bit more. So just layering on this one is just going to help. Maybe this is still a bit big, but that's okay. Uh, yes, aware of the time. Told you my husband did come in. Okay, right. Now, put this this way. Stuck. I am going to, I'm even knocking the bin over. Lucky there's not much in it. That's all I can say. Now, I think. I think, I think I'm going to pop this one across like this. And then I can... Grab my glue dots and then put the flower, tuck the flower in underneath and put the butterfly on the top. So little tiny dot for the flower and slide. Oh, don't know if that's. And slide that in underneath for another circle element and then pop this butterfly on top right slide this ribbon along right pop this baby on here Right, stick her down. Right, I'm actually really happy with this one. I really had no idea what I was going to do. Right, 
that is that one done hooray 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 and I'm going to grab my shh don't tell my husband I'm not going to fold that one I am going to I am going to pop this back in my tray though I don't think I can use it and hmm even if I just lay this out. So if I put here, life's too short for cake, and then put a cake from Piece of Cake. I've lost the stamp set. And then I put a cake from Piece of Cake. And I think that will finish off my fourth card perfectly. Um, I think this one looks very elegant. Oh, you like that one best. Thank you, Deborah. So, and then put a dimensional cake there. <gasps> okay, I'll share this one separately. I'll add some ribbon. But I have a plan for that one. So after I pick up Miss Louisa, I can do that. I will fold this card. And then I can finish off my fourth card. Hello, Joyce. You're just popping in at the end. But please watch the replay. And you can see all the fun and shenanigans that I have had with the ladies this morning. Pop my sticker on the back. And there is another card I haven't popped my sticker on. One and two. So thank you girls for joining me during my experimental session. But I've managed to get three cards made with you, four backgrounds, and I've planned out my fourth card. So using my scraps, you can see where I'm going with this one. Using my scraps from this beautiful card, I've managed to make all four of these backgrounds. So if... Yes, I will definitely show it, with, show it to you over the next week. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. If you want to uh, purchase any of the products that I've used today, please click my Shop Now button or the link in the video below will have a link uh, to my shop where you can purchase all of these products have a beautiful weekend and i will catch up with you guys next week thanks for joining uh, do you need to stand your bow in no this bow is on my what do you stand? oh what do i stand joyce this is a 3d printed um a 3d printed holder um, the business name is Central Coast 3D Printing, which is here in Australia. Um, and his name's Chris, and he will definitely be able to help you. Central Coast 3D Printing. If you are not in Australia, I know there are lots of people that do make them in America. So that is that. Um, but yeah, thank you girls so much for joining and thank you for everyone who's watching on replay and I will catch you all soon. Bye.